Hello, this is Dan Alford with ARC Specialties, another in our series on additive manufacturing. In this case, we've decided that we want to use a FANUC robot, a Lincoln pulsed MIG power supply, and a very high strength wire. This is a 140 KSI tensile strength wire. That's about the, the upper limit of welding wires. And with this process, we're trying to make some samples for material property testing. We're running a water cool platen here minimal interpass temperature, and no post-well stress relief. We want to determine just how strong a part we can make. So we're running very small beads, getting good grain refinement, uh, getting good quenching from each pass, and getting a little bit of tempering from each pass. This is uh, everything, all the tricks we know to improve material properties of a well sample. After we finish making these wells, you can see here on the uh, time-lapse photography, we make a big block. The next thing we do is we go to the machine shop and we're going to turn this into a 0.250 diameter tensile specimen. Henry's turning it to the uh, square into a round part and then we'll actually machine the tensile specimen from there. The cross section of this tensile is only 0.25 inches, so relatively small. And now we'll be able to test that sample to determine the unit stress capacity of it. This is our tensile testing machine that we developed for uh, teaching at the local college. It's hand pumped, so you can see it's sort of intermittent. We take the part all the way to failure, and then we measure what we had. You can see we had good elongation, the part stretched, and neck down, looks pretty good. So now we have a stress strain curve. Along this axis, we have force, zero to 10,000 pounds. Along this axis, we have strain. That's how much we stretch the part. During this portion, of the stress strain curve. This is inside the elastic limit. That means if we were to release it, it would go back down. Up here, it's starting to yield, and then finally it failed. So we need to determine two things, the yield strength and the tensile strength. To determine the yield strength, uh, we use a 0.2% offset. So the gauge length of this part is one and one half inches times 0 0.002 is equal to 0 0.003 thousandths of an inch. Down here we have half, that's about five thousandths, so somewhere around there. So I want to draw a line that's parallel to our stress strain curve and 0.3 over. So it's somewhere around there. So I'm going to come back across here, that's about 8,100 pounds. For the tensile strength you take the highest point. And in the case of the tensile strength we see about 8,400 pounds. So you can erase this. We knew the diameter of the tensile specimen was one quarter inch. So the equation for the area is pi r squared. So r in this case is 0.125 inches. Pi r squared is equal to 0 0.049 inches squared. So that's the cross section of our tensile specimen. Let's erase that. So what you do for the yield strength is equal to the load, 8,100 pounds, divided by 0.049, and that works out to 163,000 PSI. For the tensile strength, we have 8,400 pounds divided by works out to 171,000 pounds per square inch. So the strength of our material is quite high, 163,000 PSI yield strength, 171,000 tensile strength. These are very high numbers. This was a little bit higher than we expected from this wire, but it shows that we have a good weld. But if you've seen any of our videos at Arc Specialties, you know that we use a different unit. We measure strength in race cars. So now we're out in the shop with a CMC race car. We've put the tensile specimen between two pivoting clevises. We're going to tie that into the crane. So the only thing holding the car up is going to be that quarter inch test tensile specimen. Let's see if it works. Indeed it did. To show our confidence, we've asked Johnny, our photographer, to stand underneath the car. No. Well, maybe not. I consider that a successful test. Additive manufacturing tensile specimen, 163,000 PSI yield strength, 171,000 tensile strength, or in units of race car, greater than one. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.